we decided just to make a small stopover. Okay, time to see who broke the web this week and got everyone talking. Senator Mutula Kilonzo Jr. quickly became a top trend on Google and Twitter after he choked while having lunch in Nandi County where he had accompanied area senator Samson Charagay for a state of the county address. What broke out on social media that he had collapsed and everyone started searching for credible information. The senator tweeted out that he was okay and dispelled the fake news that he had collapsed. Next time, Bona Senator... Go easy on the food, man. Yeah, and I want everybody to know that Mutula is fine. Our very own anchor here on Friday night, Waihiga Moora, became the first male journalist to win the BBC Komla Dumour Award, which threw him quickly on the internet trend charts. Waihiga won the award for his outstanding investigative pieces, and though he will have to be away for three months, we here at Friday Night and Royal Media are so proud of him. Congratulations, Higgs. Well deserved. Humble and so grateful to be the first male recipient of the 2018 Komla Dumour Award. Rafiki, the movie that had been previously banned by KFCB, was showing this week in cinemas, and it sparked conversations on social media for the better part of the week when screenings were going on. International media also highlighted the story, which fanned the trend fire for the controversial film. There were netizens who supported the screening, and others supported the ban, which was only lifted for seven days. Migori Governor Okotho Bado has been a topic of discussion all week online after he was denied bail and went back to remand prison. Social media is following keenly the proceedings of the case, with the conversation stretching beyond the governor to other issues like how some netizens decided to shame a woman who was murdered more than the act of murder itself. His PA, Michael Oyamo, has also been a top search as his case proceeds as well. One thing for sure, this story will be on the trends for a while as the case is still going on. Joe Irongo, the prime suspect in the murder of 28-year-old Monica Kimani, was also a top Google search and trend on social media since his arrest. Conversations around the case of the murder have also dominated the interwebs. Irongo has been held by the police for more time as investigations go on. Alright, that's who broke the internet this week. My name is Kimani Mbogwa.